So F2Q is K times 2 times Q divided by the distance between this guy and this guy squared. So that's what? X minus 4 squared, quantity squared. You see? So if this is x, the distance between here and here is x, x minus 4, quantity squared. And then the charge between the 4 and the q, that's k times 4 times q over x what? Minus what? x minus negative 3 squared. Notice the k doesn't matter, the k doesn't matter. The Q doesn't matter, the Q doesn't matter. So all that matters is the 2 and the 4. So now we've got to solve for X. It becomes a quadratic equation. So this is 2 and 4. The 2 get, goes into the 4 twice. And then you can cross multiply. So you have an equation X plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 2 times X minus 4 quantity squared. And then we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 2 times x squared minus 8x plus 16. And 0 equals, gather everything on one side, 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Negative 16x minus 6x, negative 22x, 32 minus 9, is what? 23. Did I do that right? OK, solve that quadratic equation then. So now if you have the TI, put that into solver. You could have that give it to you right away. I'll do it here on my solver. Let's see, no. Uh, polynomial order 2. I'll do it using the polynomial button here. It's very quick. I'll put 1, negative 22, 23, solve. 20.88, 20.899. The other answer is 1.1. 1 .1. Twenty point eight nine nine, twenty point oh the other answer is one point one. Should we accept both answers or only one of them? Yeah, what it's telling you is that at one point one right here, the two forces are equal to each other, but remember, they're in the same direction. So the one point one you have to discard. So it's not the actual answer. This is the actual answer. 20.899 meters. So that is the answer. If you put the charge at that point, the total force on it is 0. The other way of saying it is, if you draw the electrical force configuration of this, we'll talk about that more next week. We'll talk about these electrical E-field e configurations. The E field of this looks like this. We'll do these E field configuration lines next week. I'll show you how to draw them. There should be a spot somewhere here where the E field is non existent, it's zero. So no E field line goes through that point, through the point 20.899. So E field goes like this. Another E field goes like that. No E field goes through that point. Um,
Yeah, the two for the two electrical fields cancel. The electrical field due to the negative two cancels with the electrical field of the positive four, and no electrical field exists at that point. Okay, so that's electrical. The total electrical field there is zero. Okay. Okay, let's go to C now. What is the total force on a plus two coulomb charge placed at the origin? So what is what is the total force on that two coulomb charge due to these other two charges? Okay. So by place a two coulomb charge here, well, this guy is going to attract, uh, repel it. This is going to attract it. So the two forces are going to add up, right? So F total is going to be, the two forces due to this is going to be K times uh, 4 times 2 divided by the distance between them squared, right? 3 squared. Then what should I do? I should add to that the force between the negative 2 and the 2. So what should I do? K times 2 times negative 2 over the distance between them is 4 squared. All right, uh, their charges divided by their distance squared plus their charges divided by their distance squared. I purposefully put a mistake there so I can see who can catch that mistake. Oh, from the first day you're already putting things like that? Come on, all summer we haven't thought. You know? What? Like that? This one? Positive four? Well, I already have the positive four. What, Cesar? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to get the absolute value of that. Because if you put negative, that means the force is to the left. Right? So that's why I said whenever you're doing the forces, you don't necessarily put the, the charges negative. What you do is you analyze what direction the force is going to be. Since this is negative and that's positive, the force of this guy on that guy is going to be to the right. So now when you're doing the force, don't put negative. You already accounted for the fact that it's neg one of the charges is negative. So if you had put negative, you would be subtracting them. So now add them, and you get 8k over 9 plus 4k over 16. So uh, this cancels. This becomes 4. So then you just add. That's, uh, that's going to be 32 plus 1 is 33 divided by 36k. Right? So I, I kept the k as k, and now I can put the k as 9 times 10 to the 9th. And now there'll be uh, 4. 4 goes into 33 8 times with 1 left over. 1 over 4 is 0.25. Wow, I did that whole thing without a calculator. That's good. Sometimes that's a good skill to have, right? Being able to do things like that without necessarily using the calculator. Now, maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. <laughs> did I? Did I make a mistake? It's right? Yeah. This calculator keeps giving me wrong hands. 41 